Hi there, I'm Kelly Fox from astrology.tv with a weekly overview, weekly astrological overview for September 12th through the 18th. So there really isn't any astrology headline of this week. Everything sort of happened last week. You know, we had uh, Venus, Venus moving into Virgo, Mercury retrograde, and a full moon in Pisces. So uh, I'm going to review that. I'm going to talk about the secondary uh, influences, astro influences of the week, and then uh, look forward to next week as well. So uh, for more detail about what's in store for your zodiac sign, be sure to visit astrology.tv slash horoscope slash weekly. And be sure to sign up for one of my free horoscope newsletters. That's astrology.tv slash newsletters. So as I said, you know, all the action happened last week. We had uh, love and money planet Venus moving into Virgo. So this is a sign Venus doesn't like. So when it comes to relationships, it's not all warm and fluffy and hearts and flowers. It really is more about being of service and being practical uh, and, you know, not, not seeking perfection or striving for perfection where perfection doesn't exist. So, and that's across the board. Sometimes good enough is good enough. And then, as I said, you know, Venus in Virgo, um, on my last week's video, Venus in Virgo uh, is really good for making financial decisions. So that's applicable for the rest of the month. Then, of course, we're in the dreaded Mercury retrograde period. And uh, that means... Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I just sneezed in the middle of that. Excuse me. I'm glad that there was a mute button. <laughs> uh, we're in the we're in the um, we're in the second week of the dreaded Mercury retrograde period, and uh, so that that really is about miscommunication, misunderstanding. Be careful what you say; it might feel like someone's speaking a different language. You know, Mercury turning retrograde in Libra. It's all about relationships and that's personal or business. So be very, very careful at this time about signing a contract. Uh, any sort of legally binding agreement, um, be very careful with right now. Because you might find that it's, you know, it might not be the right, uh, not just the right time to sign it, but it might not be the right deal for you. And then, uh, you know, Mercury will continue its retrograde motion uh, through Libra and then into Virgo. And it will turn direct October 2nd. And it turns direct in, Mer in excuse me, in Virgo. So, you know, details uh, will be the focus for many of us uh, early October and being able to move ahead and move forward. And then, you know, we're still uh, we're still feeling the effects of the full moon, the weekend's full moon in Pisces. And so there's there's some uh, unexpected events that come about for many of us with this full moon, uh, full moon in Pisces, because it hooks into uh, Uranus and Pluto. So there's potential for change if you're looking for that in your life. Um, but there's also, uh, you know, it's about boundaries and being really clear with boundaries. Um, so the full moon in Pisces is, you know, a lot of times with that energy, we just give and give and give, and there's nothing left to give. So this, this has us, uh, looking at what our boundaries are and how much, you know, we actually give until there is nothing left. And then the secondary influences of this week, and that was last week. Um, but you know, the full moon, uh, it came about on, um, Sunday in most parts of the world. And so the secondary influences for this week, I'm um, just looking at my calendar here, on Friday, you know, it's pretty quiet week. On Friday, we've got uh, Venus square Mars. So relationships uh, could be very challenging at the end of the week. A lot of friction, a lot of tension, um, you know, people digging in their heels when it comes to relationships. And especially with that Mercury retrograde in Libra, uh, it's very much about you know, be, just be very cautious when agreeing to something at this time. 
Uh, also on Friday, we've got the sun opposite Neptune. So there could be some confusion. And again, especially with the Mercury retrograde, uh, things might not be what they seem. People might not be, um, you know, their words might be different to their deeds is one way to think about it. Take care with exaggeration because on Sunday we've got Mercury opposite Jupiter. So people are overinflating or exaggerating what's really happening. Uh, so just be aware of that. Um, but also on Sunday, we've got the Sun trine Pluto. This is great influence, uh, particularly if you're an Earth sign and that's Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Um, there's a lot of grounded sensibilities going on uh, with this influence. And it's a great time um, to make financial decisions, especially with the Venus uh, in Virgo transit. Um, but of course, just be mindful of the Mercury retrograde because Mercury is connected to commerce. But overall, um, you know, the, particularly at the end of the week, it does look uh, quite promising for finances. But with that uh, sun opposite Neptune aspect, Make sure you have all the facts and the details and, of course, the Mercury retrograde. Double check everything. So for more information about what's in store for your zodiac sign this week, be sure to visit astrology.tv slash horoscope slash weekly. Sign up for one of my free horoscope newsletters. That's astrology.tv slash newsletters. I'm Kelly Fox. Thanks for tuning in.